Yeah. You're watching Yan Sturiali Video Guitar Education TV. Probably around 10 years old, it was, uh, was, uh, my mother was a jazz singer and there was a guitar uh, a ranger that used to come by and so I started to kind of like music a little bit then and I heard the Beatles and the Beach Boys and Ricky Nelson around that time. Um, my main influences are, that's a, it could be different every day but I mean really you know initially it was the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix and then uh, Later on, John Coltrane and Wes Montgomery and uh, it, you know James Brown and uh, uh, I, yeah, I, the question just is almost meaningless to me because I, I'm influenced by everything so much. I don't know how important it is to attend a music school, but it, it's important to be in a music environment where you can interact with other musicians or other people that want to be musicians, because that's where you do the most growing. Well, that's an interesting thing. I mean, I live in San Diego now, but uh, I lived, uh, you know, in New York for many years, which. Uh, um, and you know it's interesting that you're asking this question because you're from Trieste or the you know or actually Gorizia area in Italy. Um, and so uh, you know, the, uh, you know obviously we have you know more opportunities I guess to interact with a lot more musicians when we're in bigger cities like New York or even if you were in Rome or Milan maybe you know that would be. Uh, uh, per, perhaps a better environment. But having said that, there's some unbelievable musicians. There's a guitar player named Ben Lacey who lives in uh, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, who's unbelievable. You know, you wouldn't consider that like a real hotbed for you know, for for you know, sort of guitar pyrotechnics necessarily. You know. Yeah, just. Um, Make sure that I have a couple of simple rules. One is is do tons of ear training and transcribing and listening to music. That's the you know your ears are, are the vehicle. You know it's not that the 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 instrument is just a conduit. The it's your ears and understanding stuff organically. That that's much more important than uh, than sort of practicing scales and things like that. Um, you know, I, I, I've enjoyed doing, you know, uh, I like, uh, you know, I like the quartet concept because, uh, you know, I don't have so much, res to, I don't have to play everything. But having said that, I like the trio thing too because I get more freedom, you know, harmonically in there. So, you know, it depends on, on, uh, on the tour, or on my mood, you know, I, I don't think uh, that you, you know, should try to limit yourself too much. I'm not very comfortable playing solo guitar, which is why I try to do it on on my gigs, one, uh, at least one or two tunes throughout the evening, just so that I can try to somehow, Lord, please let me get more comfortable doing it, you know? Well, see, that was, uh, you know, um, the first um, tour that we did with uh, playing the music that w that's about to be on the new record and uh, I wanted to sort of have a more open sound than uh, than with the keyboard with a you know piano and so that's why uh, Bernard Marcelli I asked him to do it because he plays a uh, uh, four mallet percussion like a sort of uh, like a vibraphone but electric and so he can only play four notes at once so that that uh, kind of leave some transparency and some air while st still making me not have to do everything you know so and uh, and it's a very interesting sound you know so uh, I got into that and we're, we're gonna do it more um, open counseling for me is an opportunity for students to come in and work on whatever it is that they feel that they need help with. 
And generally, I, you know, I've, I've been lucky that I've been able to sort of help. But I'm sure I'm going to run up on something where somebody's going to ask me something that I don't know that much about. And so that's what I look forward to, really, because I, that, then I'll have to go and work on it. And, and, and that, you know, part of the reason I teach is so that I can get better, you know, because I, I can sort of crystallize things and, and reaffirm things that, are, uh, that I sort of know or, or sort of kind of know. And now I, I know them better. Well, uh, I had been playing a Parker guitar for quite some time, but the, uh, but the uh, um, preamp crapped out on me, and they don't make that preamp anymore, and I don't really want to try their new preamp at this point, uh, just to see if it works or see if it's good. So I went back to playing a Stratocaster-type guitar, a single-coil guitar, and so that, I've been playing a Strat for, for like uh, the last year, <clears throat> and I've been... Uh, with the DV Mark amplifier company now, and I love those amps. So, uh, and, and they're from Italy, and so that's a cool thing. So, uh, um, and they're really a great company, and I'm so happy that I finally found an amp. Uh, I, I would had been using a PV Artist for many years. I mean, not, not an artist. It was, uh, it's called a PV Stereo Chorus 400. They, they don't make that amp anymore either. And so, what that's kind of what happens. You know, you use something. Uh, and you get used to it, and you like it, you know, and you, fi you find kind of your sound, and then, you know, it goes obsolete, and then it, it starts fatiguing and not working anymore, and now you get you got to go through this whole search again. And I, I went through a search for a while, and these DV Mark amps work great for me. Um, well, right now, I'm trying to get this unfinished business record out. It's done, the, you know, the artwork's done, the, the, uh, the, it's mixed, it's mastered, it's ready to go. We just, uh, you know, we just have to figure out how we're going to get it out there in terms of, uh, 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 you know, licensing it to different countries or perhaps doing a distribution deal or something like that. It's, uh, you know, but it'll be out by September one way or another, you know. And then... Uh, you know, I would, you know, I would like to m sort of, you know, well, first do some stuff with this, with this idea of the, uh, you know, of the group with uh, Bernard and uh, and um, Hadrian and and, and Smitty. Um, but I also want to do, I, you know, I, I've I've had a an, a real yearn in my life. You know, I've always been a composer and I've always been an arranger, so I've always wanted to do. Uh, a more large ensemble thing, which requires a lot more writing and uh, and preparation, but it's something that I, I think about a lot, and I, I know I need to do a solo guitar record, and I, it hurts just to think about it. But I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to do that one of these days as well, as soon as I get as good as you.